Hey guys, gorgeous day out here in eastern Michigan. Uh, I think it's 56 degrees in the shade, so it's just awesome. And I'm in the sun right now, so we're probably up there at 60 degrees. Um, so I figured I'd get the hood out. It's been sitting out there all winter. It's primed, ready to go for the cream color that needed to go on the top. I'm using the same magic uh, tractor and implement spray enamel. I'll put the link right here in the video so you guys can check out their website and all their products. But uh, barely any wind, and if there is any wind, it's a warm wind. So I figured I'd let you guys watch me paint the hood. I'll get this camera set down and we'll, we'll get going. That's probably not good. All that spray is going right toward the camera. Let's see if I can move it to a better place. I'll just hold it while I spray paint. That's got a nice color on it. So far I don't see any orange peel, but you never, you never normally do when you're painting it wet. Um, there are a few minor flaws as you can see right there. Well, I don't know if you can or not, but they're just color flaws from being bumped and stuff. I checked and sanded and make it everything sure as level. Before I started with this final coat. Finally, or hopefully, this track will be done pretty soon. I mean, it was stupid of me to start a project at the end of winter, but, or the beginning of winter, and so I had no time to paint anything. But now that it's starting to warm up, I'm going to take every advantage I can and just paint all I got and make sure everything's pretty before I reassemble it for the final product. Um, I'm not going to sell it or anything. She's just going to be my little bragging rights, I guess you could call it. None of my family believe that I'm that inclined mechanically and uh, artistically, I guess you could say. But I guess this is just proof to them that I can do stuff on my own. I had no help from my dad or my mom or my brother or anything like that. This whole project was done by the help of, or, well, I've been told by some people online, but you know, obviously they didn't help me with the work at all. I just had to wing it for the most part. But you know, for the most part, I had I had my own knowledge. I know what I'm doing. I think as long as I don't see gray, I'll be happy. All right, I think I'm gonna set the camera down now. I'm gonna set her down right there for you guys. There we go. I might do the uh, unveiling of the back half of the tractor today. It's been sitting in the shed all winter, so the paint's definitely ready to come off. It's sitting in the sh sun right now, warming up, so I might take off the paint and show you guys how the stripes came out. But I think I'll put it in a separate video. Too. Got the uh, headlights all taped up. Like I said before in my other videos, I really love this uh, magic spray enamel. It's real thick, hardy enamel, uh, which is what the guy at the farm store told me. Exactly what I'm looking for because this thing isn't going to be tarped up every single night in the summer. In the winter, yeah, because I know better than that. But not in the summer. She might spend a couple nights out in the summer nights. 
But that ain't gonna hurt anything with this enamel. Two coats is like, I don't know, but it's thick and it's really glossy, so any water that gets on it, I could just imagine it beating right off. So I'm good in that sense. Look how soupy that is down there. Can't wait to get my uh, dirt bike fixed and get mudding in it. Uh, got an appointment with uh, some guy today about that. Bring it over there to him. See if he can't help me with it. Oh, let me switch hands here. Do that without dropping the camera in the mud. There we go. This should dry real quick being out in the sun like this. Very little breeze. I always wish this thing would paint upside down. Other than that though, I have no complaints. Um, so yeah, there you guys go. I'll let it sit there for a couple days and then we'll take the tape off and see how she did. Later guys.